Mars is the most popular planet that is being targeted to search for evidence of life elsewhere. Yet little is known about the history of Mars, but it's long been theorized that Mars once had a life similar to that on Earth. And if that's the case, it would be one of the most substantial pieces of evidence that the universe is far stranger and more interesting than imagined. Well, researchers find something really strange that can support this theory. It is zircon crystals that are found in Earth's rocks and meteorites from Mars. It might hold critical information about the planet Mars. Hey there guys and welcome back to our channel Mars Discovery. In today's video, we will look at the incident where zircon crystals were found on Mars. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more Mars-related content. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. Zircon, a uranium-bearing mineral, is an abundant mineral that constitutes Earth's continental crust. It usually provides information about the origin and large geological volcanoes. According to experts, having access to so much zircon is like opening up a time window into the geological history of the planet. Well, apparently zircon should be rare on Mars because its crust has not evolved. Its composition is still the same as the crust beneath the Earth's ocean. But that's not the case. Researchers are shocked to see the vast quantity of zircon on Mars. They said, We were quite surprised and excited when we found so much zircon in this Martian meteorite. A team from Curtin University has found evidence of shock damage in the Mars meteorite NWA7034, commonly known as Black Beauty. NWA7034 weighed 320 grams and was discovered in 2013 in Western Sahara. Unique oxygen isotope signatures reveal the origin of NWA7034 from Mars. NWA7034 is composed mostly of a collection of broken rock fragments and minerals, mainly basalt, that became solid to such an extent that now it is a rock over time. It is known as a piece of volcanic breccia. NWA7034 is similar to a type of sedimentary rock on Earth called conglomerate. In such rocks, every mineral can have a distinctive beginning. No one expected zircon to be a common mineral on Mars. Tiny grains of the mineral zircon are found in NWA7034. Zircon is a geochronometer, meaning it records and reveals to us how much time has passed since it crystallized from magma. Moreover, zircon is quite useful for studying meteorite impacts. It preserves microscopic damage caused by the passage of shockwaves, and these shocked grains provide a solid record of impact. However, no zircon with exemplary shock damage had been identified in previous studies of NWA7034. It was determined when high pressure was applied on the rock of about 20 to 30 gigapascals. This pressure is much higher than those caused by the launch from Mars and subsequent landing on Earth. Due to this increased pressure, something strange happens to the lattice. Like they are pushed together so tightly that they end up sharing some of the points on the crystal lattice. Zircon with the same shock features has been found at Verdefort in South Africa, Sudbury in Canada, and Chicxulubá in Mexico. The Mexican crater formed about 65 million years ago and has been linked to the extinction of the dinosaurs. In this case, shocked zircon is large enough to cause mass extinction on Mars. Curtin University researchers performed a close study of 66 grains of zircon found in NWA7034. They performed electron backscatter diffraction mapping and cathode luminescence imaging to probe the structural arrangement of the atomic lattice. In all minerals, atoms are arranged in a symmetrical three-dimensional lattice structure. Prior studies of NWA7034 showed that it contains the oldest known zircon from Mars, some up to 4.45 billion years old. It was shocking for researchers, because previous research indicated that the heavy bombardment of Mars stopped about 4.48 billion years ago. This indicates that the heavy bombardment of Mars continued longer than previously thought. According to this information, the shock event would have occurred at least 30 million years after Mars had stopped being bombarded. This grain is truly a one-off gift from the Red Planet. High pressure shock deformation has not previously been found in any minerals from Black Beauty. This discovery of shock damage in a 4.45 billion year old Martian zircon particle provides new evidence of dynamic processes that affected the surface of early Mars, said Ms. Cox, the lead author of the study and PhD candidate at Curtin University's Space Science and Technology Center. So, if heavy bombardment stopped 4.48 billion years ago, then the habitable period of Mars may have begun as early as 4.2 billion. 
However, researchers need to find more evidence about it, but the team at Curtin University thinks that the habitable period on Mars should be around 3.9 to 3.7 billion years ago. They believe that the water existed on Mars about 3.9 to 3.7 billion years ago. Prior studies of zircon and Martian meteorites propose that conditions suitable for life may have existed by 4.2 billion years ago, based on the absence of definitive shock damage. Said Dr. Cavosi, co-author and also from Curtin University's Space Science and Technology Center. The period of heavy bombardment has implications for the habitability period of Mars. Significant meteor impacts can cause mass extinction events, such as the Chicxulub meteorite, which caused the extinction of the dinosaurs on Earth. Black beauty has not been previously described from any samples of rocks from Mars. Scientists thought that it came from both Earth and the Moon. Zircon crystals from the Jack Hills in Western Australia are also the oldest terrestrial material on Earth, dated at 4.4 billion years old. Zircon undoubtedly raised many questions about the history of Mars. The type of shock damage in the Martian zircon involves twinning, and has been reported from all of the biggest impact sites on Earth, including the one in Mexico that killed off the dinosaurs. As well as the moon, but not previously from Mars, said Ms. Cox. Ultimately, scientists will need to study more samples from Mars to get more information about its ancient habitability. And right now, meteorites are the only samples of Mars available to explore here on Earth, and that have dropped from the sky due to pure luck, like Black Beauty. It will help researchers to provide better context for interpreting the planet's history as archived in it. Dr. Cavois also said, Mars remains subject to impact bombardment after this time, on the scale known to cause mass extinctions on Earth. The zircon we describe provides evidence of such impacts, and highlights the possibility that the habitability window may have occurred later than previously thought, perhaps coinciding with evidence for liquid water on Mars by 3.9 to 3.7 billion years ago. However, NASA's Perseverance rover is currently collecting samples from an ancient Martian lake bed with the help of technological components incorporated into it. Its main goal is to identify Martian land that will collect rock and soil and test oxygen production from the Martian atmosphere. All the samples will be sent back to Earth in about a few years if all goes to plan. Those precious cores could finally tell us whether any microbial creatures were able to inhabit during the planet's early years perhaps producing a brief moment in time when at least two of the solar system's worlds nurtured young life. That's why every researcher is waiting for the Perseverance rover to come back with samples. So, this brings our video to an end. What do you guys think about the NWA-7034? Do you believe that life existed on Mars before the bombardment? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Mars Discovery and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.